Lake State Vehicle Inspection Service vows total enforcement confiscates over 50 rickety commercial buses. Federal Road Safety Corps sets up more than 200 mobile courts for traffic offenders during Easter. On the foreign scene, South Africa closes four private colleges over dysfunctional operations. And in sports, Super Eagles coach commends team's performance despite losing to Mali in friendly game. And now the details, I am Akan Usen. The Legacy Vehicle Inspection Service, VIS, has vowed to continue total enforcement and confiscation of rickety commercial vehicles in the state to bring sanity on the roads. Director, Lake State Vehicle Inspection Service, Aki George Fashola, noted that the Babajiri Songwulu administration will not tolerate flouting of any of its traffic laws. Aki George, who was represented by the area commander of VIS Ikeja Command, Taufik Adeola, stated this after an enforcement exercise in four zones of the command, including Ikeja, PWD, Ojota and Isheri, where a total of 28 vehicles were impounded and 90 from January till date. The Ikeja area commander of the VIS identified vehicle parts that can make a vehicle to be tagged as rickety to include broken windscreen, side mirrors, front and rear lights, tires without threads and rickety vehicle body, among others. If their vehicle is okay and the general well-being of the vehicle in terms of physical appearance, I think they wouldn't have a problem with us. We do in power, we didn't stop vehicle for road check, and by the time we check out the particulars and the general body, we leave the vehicle. Also, under Ikmori Area Command, VIS enforcement team also confiscated about 30 other commercial vehicles in Kostain, Ujoelegba, at Dekune, under the bridge, among others. The legacy government has pledged to intensify efforts in supporting security agencies in order to promote peace and harmony in the state. Secretary to the state government, Abimbola Saloon Dain, who gave the assurance during a meeting with the Police Community Relations Committee, PCRC, at the Cabinet Office, assured the Committee of Governor Babajide Songwulu's support in tackling the security issues highlighted at the meeting. Salih Hundey, who tasked the committee on developing strategies that will drive people's participation, such as PCRC Day, urged Lagos residents to assist the government in the area of security, thereby promoting peace. On his part, Chairman PCRC in Lagos, Kende Shuemmo, said the parley has helped to x-ray the security challenges as well as areas where the government has achieved positive results in terms of security and traffic management to nip in the bud crimes and criminality. Showing more commended the government for restoring peace at Obalende, Leki and Jakonde Axis, and as well as the effective traffic management at Apapa. The Nigerian Guild of Editors has urged the government at all levels to step up efforts in addressing growing security challenges across the country. NGE President Eze Anaba and the General Secretary Iyobosa Uwogiare made this known in a communique issued after the forum's standing committee meeting held in Enugu State. Anaba congratulated the Office of the National Security Advisor, Governor Uba Sani of Kaduna State, and security agencies on the recent release of students of LEA Primary School and Government Secondary School in Kuriga, Chinkon Local Government Area. He charged the media to keep carrying out their responsibilities with a sense of nationalism and be careful not to inadvertently give stimulus to terrorists slash bandits in their reportage. The Guild also called on the federal government to speak out on the editor of a newspaper, Shegun Olatunji, who was allegedly abducted from his Lagos home by some men in military uniform. Now to the rest of the stories. The Federal Road Safety Corps, FRSC, has set up more than 200 mobile courts to persecute traffic offenders during the Easter Special Patrol operations across the country. FRSC Corps Marshal Dauda Biu said it is in line with the operational guidelines of the 2024 Special Patrol scheduled to commence from March 29 to April 2. 
According to him, the objectives of the special operations is to reduce road traffic crashes, fatalities and injuries. We urge commanding officers to ensure full deployment of staff for maximum visibility, prompt removal of obstructions and ease of movement on all highways. Meanwhile, the Corps deployed over 743 patrol vehicles, 184 administrative vehicles and 92 ambulances for the Easter Special Patrol across the country. The Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps Commandant General's Special Intelligence Squad has uncovered a massive illegal oil refining site in a forest in the Odagwa community of the Eche local government area of River State. NSCDC spokesman River State Command Olufemi Ayodili said this while parading the suspects before newsmen. Ayodili said the Commandant General of the NSCDC, Ahmed Audi, gave a marching order to the Special Intelligence Squad, charging them to be more thorough and result-oriented in their operations. He added that the site, which has 10 illegal refineries with an estimated 500,000 liters of crude oil, was uncovered based on credible intelligence gathered. Minister of Water Resources and Sanitation Joseph Utsev has confirmed the federal government's commitment to its existing partnership on Wash with UNICEF. Utsev, who gave the reassurance when he received UNICEF's chief of Wash, Jane Bevan, in his Abuja office, said the purpose of this partnership is to strengthen the implementation of water, sanitation, and hygiene wash policies at the grassroots level throughout the country. He explained that the ministry is currently engaged in discussions with state governments and investors to effectively utilize the value chain within the wash sector. UNICEF's chief of wash, Jane Bevan, during her visit, highlighted the noteworthy accomplishments in the country since 2018, including the construction and rehabilitation of over 1,700 solar-powered motorized boreholes and more than 10,000 hand-pump boreholes. She noted that additional efforts have been made to support open defecation-free local government areas and provide access to safe drinking water from an estimated 12 million people. And now to foreign news. Four private colleges described as being dysfunctional have been ordered to close in South Africa, leaving thousands of students in limbo. Higher Education Minister Blair Nzimande said they had fabricated exam results as well as other issues. Nzimande noted that the institutions have failed to submit audited financial statements since 2020, said some students had complained about the poor quality of teaching and learning, lack of administrative support and lack of professionalism. The minister also said that there have been allegations of non-payment of staff salaries and corruption. The colleges are owned by Educor, one of the largest private education providers in southern Africa. Meanwhile, Educor is yet to respond to the allegations. And now sports. Super Eagles coach Finidi George has described the team's performance as commendable despite losing to Mali in the friendly game in Marrakesh, Morocco. Finidi said in his post-match interview that the team kept the ball very well, but the players were at a disadvantage due to the injured strikers. He noted that the players were not outplayed in the two matches, expressing excitement at the development as a coach. Goals from El Bilal, Toure and Kamoru Dumbia secured a 2-0 win for Mali. And just before we go, please do not drive beyond specified speed limits. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms on X, formerly Twitter, Traffic Radio 961, Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961, Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. On YouTube, subscribe and watch all our previous programs and news on our channel, Traffic Radio 961. Did you know that the Sonwulu administration renovated five libraries, Epe, Padagri, Itsiosa, Amuodofi, and Ikorudu? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. The Lagos State Vehicle Inspection Service, VIS, has vowed to continue total enforcement and confiscation of rickety commercial vehicles in the state to bring sanity on the roads. The Federal Road Safety Corps, FRSC, has set up more than 200 mobile courts to prosecute traffic offenders during the Easter Special 
patrol operations across the country. We also told you that four private colleges described as being dysfunctional have been ordered to close in South Africa, leaving thousands of students in limbo. And then Sports Super Eagles coach Finiti George has described the team's performance as commendable despite losing to Mali in the friendly game in Marrakesh, Morocco. For contact with the newsroom, please send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. And that ends the news broadcast compiled by Sadiq Yusuf. I am Akan Usen. Thanks for listening and please 